Third Ward has been thriving as of late and businesses and families working together to create a safer and more vibrant community. Yeah, but a growing group of neighbors say one business that wants to move in could threaten all of their hard work. They worry it could bring more crime and create an unsafe environment. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes is live now with this business battle. Sion, who is it that wants to open up shop? Well, Lauren, the residents and the state legislators who are now fighting against this club say it's the same folks who once operated a club in southwest Houston that was shut down because of its history of crime. They do not want them relocating here. This here used to be an old warehouse. When Lawrence Garvin started this 29-unit townhome project on Old Spanish Trail, he says he had a positive impact in mind. We wanted to do revitalization in the community. Now he's concerned about reports of a strip club setting up shop just across the way. We're worried about the, the effect on pricing of homes. This type of entity in our community is not what we want. Sisters Soraya and Sonia Khan bought here last March, but say they would have gone elsewhere if they'd known what was potentially coming. We just don't feel comfortable that it's in the, you know, walking distance of our home. It's just not compatible, really, with, with where the community is going towards. They are among the more than 1,200 people who've signed a petition organized by State Representative Sean Theory to stop the strip club named The Fox Trap. This is a real movement. We today have over 11 civic clubs that are on board to stop this. Theory, along with State Senator Boris Miles, have taken the lead in organizing against the club, which they say is backed by a group that once owned Foxy's, a Southwest Houston strip club that Westbury residents successfully shut down. According to the Texas Alcohol and Beverage Commission, Foxy's had a number of violations on file, including issues with tax payments, prostitution, and lewd acts. We can't make sizable investments to improve our neighborhood for the future and for our kids and allow one bad entity to come in and reverse all the hard work that our people have done. They're not welcome here. Now, there's a sign posted here giving notice of application for an alcohol license, but the TABC tells me so far they have not received that application. The community, though, making it very clear they plan to protest any application to do anything here, whether it be from the state, the county, or the city. We were not able to get in touch with the owners. Reporting live tonight, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.